is broken. I believe the voting system is corrupt. I believe the politicians are corrupt. I believe the Congress is corrupt. Each and every piece of legislation virtually has its own price tag on it. Giant corporations have bought off our government. The American political system has become totally corrupted and the foundations of American democracy are being undermined. The unholy alliance of lobbyists and donors and special interests is bleeding our country dry. Trump is different because he doesn't have to answer to any donors, any lobbyists. It's time to drain the swamp in Washington, D.C. We are going to drain the swamp. It's time to drain the swamp of corruption. We're going to drain the swamp of Washington. We're going to have fun. You ask whether it's ever possible to drain the swamp. As President Trump loves to say, we'll see. The introduction of ZBrush to Cinema 4D workflows opened doors for creators. It allowed artists to tackle projects that were once out of reach, like crafting hyper-realistic characters, designing intricate environments, or building assets with millions of polygons. For the community, this was a leap forward. People could now work faster with fewer technical hurdles and focus purely on their creativity. Tutorials, collaborations, and online forums exploded with ideas and solutions, making the Cinema 4D and ZBrush duo a gold standard for 3D artists. The all-new ZBrush and Cinema 4D collab excitement began to fade off most creators' faces when ZBrush shifted to a subscription model under magazine's ownership. For many artists, especially freelancers and indie creators, that was a serious blow. The perpetual license, a one-time payment option people relied on, was gone. Now, most creators are facing ongoing costs that they seem not to sustain. But let's not be too quick to feature in Blender or 3D code in this conversation. Brother, let's focus on how valuable Magazine has been so far after adding ZBrush to their collection. ZBrush has brought immense value to Cinema 4D users over the years. Wait, I know many would disagree with this point, but kindly hold on a minute. Aside value, they've empowered a generation of artists, and this is factually correct. But it's clear the landscape is shifting. For this partnership to keep thriving, the focus needs to stay on the people who use these tools. Everyday artists, animators, and designers. If Magazine can strike the right balance between business and goals and the need of the creative community, this duo can continue to be a force for innovation and imagination. Let's hope they hear us loud and clear. Cinema 4D has long been celebrated for its strength in procedural modeling and there's a good reason for that. Procedural tools gives artists incredible flexibility, making it easier to create complex designs, tweak them and iterate quickly without starting from scratch. One standout feature is the MoGraph model, originally designed for motion graphics. It lets users replicate objects in grid, circles, or even free-flowing organic patterns with just a few clicks. Over time, though MoGraph has proven its versatility, finding a home in architectural visualization and product design, where precise layout and repetitions are just as critical, Cinema 4D didn't stop there. It introduced Scene Nodes, a powerful node-based system that works much like Blender's geometry nodes. This system lets artists build incredibly intricate models and automate workflows with a level of precision that's perfect for high-detail setups. If you've ever needed to tweak one piece of a model without messing up the whole design, you'd appreciate what Scene Nodes brings to the table. It's about control, customization, and creativity all rolled into one. And with the update Cinema 4D keeps rolling out, things even get better. 
they've added tools that handle simulation and particle simulations more efficiently, making it easier to compose and manage scenes in real time. Imagine working on a massive, intricate project where every element has to move or interact just right. Now, you can adjust animations, tweak designs, and refine details on the fly without ever altering your original model. It's that kind of flexibility that keeps Cinema 4D at the top of the game, especially for high-end animations and 3D designs. Do I need to speak on ZBrush? Well, let me do this for those stuck with the good old DAS Studio, the Dead Modo, Chronosculpt, SelfCAD, Mesh Mixer, the old boy sculpt GL and others who have no idea what ZBrush is. ZBrush has earned its place as the industry standard for digital sculpting and for good reason. It's packed with tools that makes creating intricate. From highly detailed character models to textured environment, ZBrush is the go-to for artists who demand precision and creativity. One of its standout features is Dynamesh, a tool that refines the sculpting experience. With Dynamesh, you can reshape and refine your models freely without worrying about topology constraints. The software continuously regenerates the mesh as you sculpt, giving you the freedom to experiment and adjust on the fly. Right alongside is its Z Remesher, ZBrush's intelligent retopology tool. This is a lifesaver for anyone creating game-ready assets or models for animation as it optimizes the mesh for performance while maintaining the fine details. Another big draw is multi-resolution sculpting. Now, what this does is enable artists add insane level of details. This is why ZBrush shines when it comes to complex projects like character design, organic environments, and high detail textures. You can zoom into the tiniest features like pores or fabric textures and still maintain a workflow that feels smooth and manageable. ZBrush keeps evolving too. A recent addition is the repeat to similar feature and this is already making waves. This function allows you to replicate sculpting changes across multiple meshes with precision. Imagine working on armor plates architectural details or repeating elements in a character's accessories. This too saves hours of repetitive work and keeps your design consistent. It's innovations like these that solidify ZBrush as a critical tool for artists across industries. Whether you are crafting a cinematic character, designing a detailed environment, or texturing assets for games, ZBrush delivers the power and flexibility to bring your vision to life. GOZ is also nothing new, but a Cinema 4D and ZBrush Duo can't be complete without giving GOZ a mention. The GOZ integration is a game changer for artists working with ZBrush and Cinema 4D. It creates a seamless bridge between the two applications, allowing assets to be moved back and forth effortlessly without losing detail or resolution. Imagine sculpting a high resolution model in ZBrush, complete with intricate textures, lifelike musculature, and subtle surface details. With GOZ, you can send that model directly into Cinema 4D without reformatting or simplifying anything. What this means is the quality of your sculpt stays intact and you can jump straight into scene building, rigging, or rendering. Once the model is in Cinema 4D, it benefits from Magazine's Redshift Renderer, now included with every subscription to Cinema 4D as of 2025 update. This is a huge upgrade for the workflow. Redshift's advanced GPU accelerated rendering takes the detailed sculpting you create in ZBrush and transforms it into photorealistic visuals. Imagine translucent materials like glass, layered textures like painted surfaces, or even organic elements like skin. With its shader system, Redshift lets ZBrush sculpts come alive, capturing light, reflections, and texture behavior with incredible precision.
Speed is another critical factor. Redshift GPU acceleration drastically reduces render times, which is a big deal when you are working with high detail ZBrush models that demands complex lighting or shading setups. Faster render times means quicker previews or more iterations, giving artists the flexibility to refine their work under tight deadlines or when striving for intricate visual fidelity. I know most people are going to argue Redshift is slow. Well, take this example. Let's not conclude Redshift is fast in general, but rather let's consider its speed alongside some of the best renders in the industry. Okay, now Redshift seems fast here, right? And that is what I meant by fast. The addition of the full version of Redshift to Cinema 4D subscription in 2025 changes the game further. Previously, only the CPU version of Redshift was included. But now, artists get full GPU rendering power without needing an extra subscription. While Cinema 4D only subscribers now face a 15 USD monthly price increase, those who previously subscribed to both Cinema 4D and Redshift actually save 7 USD a month. This pricing shift reflects Magazine's commitment to streamlining workflows for professionals who rely on both ZBrush and Cinema 4D to deliver top tier results. While ZBrush is renowned for its ability to create highly detailed, sculpted characters, Cinema 4D's animation and rigging tools plays a critical role in bringing those creations to life. With its character object system, Cinema 4D simplifies rigging, especially for bipedal and quadrupedal models. These pre-built rigs make the setup process intuitive, allowing animators to focus on the artistry and animation rather than getting bogged down by technical rigging complexities. For artists sculpting in ZBrush, this seamless integration provides an efficient transition from static sculpting to dynamic animation or within a unified workflow. Cinema 4D also offers advanced features like post morph and constraint systems, giving animators fine-tuned control over facial expression and body movement. These tools are essential for crafting lifelike animations that capture the subtleties of motion. Whether it's the nuanced expression of a character's face or the natural flow of a running stride, such precision tools are invaluable for projects where realism and emotional engagement are paramount. Recent updates to Cinema 4D have taken these capabilities even further, particularly in handling dynamic simulations. Artists can now incorporate realistic clothes hair and particle effects into their animations, seamlessly integrating these elements with ZBrush assets. Imagine a character's hair flowing in the wind or their clothes responding naturally to movement. These enhancements allow animators to create more immersive, believable scenes. By adding these dynamic interactions, Cinema 4D enables creators to elevate their project with layers of realism that deepens audience engagement. Cinema 4D's Body Paint 3D and ZBrush's UV tools combine to offer an incredibly effective workflow for artists focused on creating detailed textures for their 3D models. ZBrush, with its precise UV unwrapping tools, is ideal for mapping textures onto complex high-resolution models. This is especially important for assets like characters or intricate props, where the alignment of textures with sculptural details can make or break the final result. Once these base textures are created in ZBrush, they can be exported and refined in Cinema 4D's Body Paint 3D. This too allows artists to paint directly onto their models in real time, providing an intuitive and dynamic approach to texturing. With Body Paint 3D, artists can easily layer textures, make detailed adjustments, and refine complex designs without breaking their creative workflow. The layering system is particularly powerful, enabling precise control over multiple texture layers. Whether you are adding subtle wear and tear to clothing, creating realistic skin textures, or crafting environmental details like dirt, rust, or foliages, Body Paint 3D offers the tools you need to bring your vision to life.
This integrated workflow, starting with ZBrush for high resolution UV mapping and texture creation, and moving to Body Paint 3D for refinement, provides a streamlined solution for artists across disciplines. It's particularly valuable for character artists, product designers, and environmental designers who require both precision and flexibility in their texturing process. By combining the strength of ZBrush and Cinema 4D, artists can achieve highly detailed, polished, professional results that stands out in any medium, from film and gaming to product visualization and beyond. Cinema 4D's advancement in simulation tools have elevated its appeal for both seasoned professionals and beginners, especially when paired with the detailed sculpting capabilities of ZBrush. These tools bring dynamic elements like fire, smoke, and physics-driven interactions into 3D projects, complementing the sculptural precision ZBrush is known for. Amongst the latest updates, the Pyro system stands out as groundbreaking addition. This feature allows artists to simulate realistic fire and smoke directly within Cinema 4D, enabling the creation of stunning visual effects that seamlessly integrate with ZBrush assets. For instance, imagine sculpting a detailed, distractible building in ZBrush, transferring it into Cinema 4D via the GOZ bridge, and using the Pyro system to simulate an explosion with smoke and flying debris all within one cohesive workflow. This level of integration drastically reduces the need for external tools, streamlining the process for artists aiming to create high-quality physics-driven VFX. Cinema 4D's improvements don't stop at fire and smoke. Its enhancement to rigid body and soft body dynamic systems takes realism to the next level. These tools allow assets to interact in a way that feels natural and authentic. For example, a ZBrush sculptor might create intricate models for organic materials, fabrics, or other deformable objects. In Cinema 4D, these materials can be simulated to react dynamically to forces like gravity, wind, or collisions. This means you can have a fabric that folds and drops convincingly or clothing on a character that moves naturally during an action scene. Even subtle interactions like the ripple of a flag in the wind or the way a debris scatters in a collapse are handled with precision, adding depth and believability to your project. ZBrush continues to raise the bar with features that enhance its value for artists who also work with Cinema 4D, making the transition between the two platforms not only smoother but more creative and efficient. Let's dive into some of the standout updates that are shaping workflows for 3D artists. First up is the Enhanced Anchors Brush, a tool that brings greater control over detailing and masking. This is a game changer for creating uniform patterns or symmetrical elements especially in modular environments or mechanical designs where precision and repetition are essential. With this brush, artists can achieve intricate designs faster, making it an invaluable addition for those working on highly detailed environments or technical assets. Another cool update is the inclusion of Cinema 4D's noise patterns within ZBrush. This feature allows artists to maintain consistency in texture creation across both platforms. By using the same noise patterns, textures crafted in ZBrush can seamlessly integrate into Cinema 4D projects, ensuring a unified visual style. This is particularly beneficial for cross-platform workflows such as designing a complex environment or a character whose textures need to align perfectly in both sculpting and animation phases. It simplifies collaboration and consistency across tools, saving time while preserving quality. Okay, viewers' comments are appreciated. Let us know how ZBrush and Cinema 4D have impacted your workflow. If you have any secrets you think we don't know which would impact the community positively, kindly share it. Also feel free to let us know why this dual wasn't a good one for you. Did you switch? Let's have it. Okay, if you love this video, kindly don't forget to like, share, subscribe 